How do we take all the data and details from design and engineering and send it to the manufacturing floor to the Howick cold form steel rolling machines? In this episode, we're gonna show you how it's done. Stay tuned. How cool is the augmented reality, right? Being able to walk through the building and virtually see where my toilet's gonna be, where my plumbing's gonna be, where the mechanicals are gonna be, not only as a stakeholder in a project, but as somebody that's gonna own the building, all of that stuff is gonna be there for the future should something need to be fixed. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, it works into all your building information, everything for maintenance men or anybody to keep maintenance logs, it's all there. So when a toilet overflows, a tub overflows up on an upper level, you can find exactly where it's at, know exactly where the plumbing stack is running through the building. I love it. All right, so I'm sold. <laughs> I, I'm into the building now. I like the plans. Toby's killing it. I want to build it. You got all this detail already set. Now all that detail and data goes from the engineering department and the design department into one of these Howick machines. Walk me through what, what this machine is, first of all, and what it does, and then we'll go from there. The machine behind us is the Howick 7800. In our profile, our setup is the largest, most capable machine that Howick makes. It's the only one in North America right now, so that's a huge step for us. With that, it'll roll six inch, eight inch, 10, 12, and 14 inch web members with a two inch leg and 16, 14, and 12 gauge. Wide array of materials, a lot of different profiles we can do that ultimately gives us a big footprint into what we can do to help your project. Data came in, how does this machine work? It's running from cold form steel in the back, a big roll of it, yep. and that roll's feeding through the machine, but as it's feeding through the machine, it's actually forming it. Yes, so it comes in raw, raw coil, or galvanized coil at the end, and it runs through. There's a little steel donut that runs information back to the encoder. That tells the machine how fast the coil's running. So as all the different operations are happening, working off the PLC, working off the, the computer, the software of the machine, it's running through step by step, getting all of its punches, getting all of the dimpling, getting everything it needs, and then runs through a series of rollers that incrementally rolls it to form it into the C-shape or U-shape that our tracks and studs become. The difference between a C-shape and a U-shape track is what? The C-shape is the return legs. With our profiles, let's say the six inch, six inches across the web, two inches up, and then a half inch return on either side. The U-shape will just be straight up on the sides. It doesn't make that return. So it's back. the difference between a track on the bottom, which we call bottom plate and wood yep. construction, yep. and the two by four. Correct. Right? Yep. It's just the st it's the steel stud. Absolutely. All right, so it's coming through, but not only is it coming through and forming those tracks or the studs, it's also punching the holes for the wires and the MEPs like we saw upstairs in the demo with the augmented reality. Absolutely, it also cut, does the lip cuts and dimples to tell you exactly where the stud needs to go so your, your framers, your panelizers don't need to pull tapes. Everything's done right there for you. It also has an ink printer on it that prints the part number and tells you exactly where it needs to go and what needs to happen with that piece. All right, so everything's labeled. All the pieces are coming out. There's a full wall or, or ceiling or floor structure of data in this machine yep. and it prints it out. Is there an order to this? Like how does somebody know what to do with it once it comes out in all these different pieces? So the way we set up the machines, we do it, it's panel by panel, piece by piece. So it'll print out your bottom tracks, your studs, your top tracks, everything. We can change the order in which it goes. We have it set in the way that best makes sense for the project. So when we're panelizing and framing in here, we usually have our top tracks on the top that come out first. We put them to the side, all the studs go in, and then label our top tracks on top. If we're doing it for production packs where we're shipping out our flat panels, we might stack it or order it a little bit differently to what makes sense for the project. Right, right. But yeah, it'll run out panel by panel. We can run out all the studs. It all depends. It's very user friendly, so we can get exactly what the customer needs. So it comes out the end like we're seeing here, and then it's all on the table, and then they organize it on these racks over here. Absolutely, yep. And then from these racks, where are we going? We'll run right down to our framing line and our framing line, they're where they're building the panels, doing everything. Runs from framing line to sheeting line, windows assembly, flipping over and to the truck. Why don't we walk down there? Let's see how they're putting this together Perfect. and uh, we can show them out there what it's like. Yep, let's, let's go. go. I'll follow you. 